Hi friends, thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to learn how to move objects around on a scale and know it still equals the same amount. So let's get started. What does it mean if something's equal? Very good, it means it is the same. So let's look at these two teddy bears. If they were on a scale, they would weigh the same amount. Even though one is red and one is blue, that doesn't change the weight. They weigh the same amount and they're the same size. So let's do some activities. So we want to find the pan that matches the pan on the scale in order to make it equal. So how can we find out how many cubes are already on the pans? How do we know how many cubes there are? Very good, we count. We can count in order to find out how many cubes there are on our pans. So first, let's start with our pan that we have on here that we have to match. We have one, two, three. So we know that there are three cubes on our pan. So we have to look at these three pans and see which one has three. Can you point to the one that has three? Did you point to this one? If you did, you have the correct answer. This is equal, so we're gonna move it over here. Very good. So even though this one is side by side and these are stacked, it doesn't mean that it changes the number. So three cubes are equal to three and they are the same weight. All right, let's try another one. Oh, look at these cubes. What do you notice that's different with those cubes? You're right, they're a different color. These are pink and these are orange. So we have to match them. Guess what? We can still match them even though they're a different color. You know why? Because a different color doesn't mean a different weight. All right, so let's count in order to see how many cubes we have. Count with me. One, two, three, four. Okay, we have four cubes. So that means we have to find our four cubes on the side to match. So let's see, which one is four? Very good, the first one is four. And even though it's a cross, it doesn't mean that's a different number. There's still four. So this has to be the same size. Four and four is equal. You're doing a great job, friends. Three and four. Four and four is equal. You're doing such a great job. All right, get ready for the next one. Ooh, this is a tricky question. Let's see if you'll get this one. First, let's count our cubes. One, two. Okay, we have two cubes. Oh no, hmm, let's see. Let's look at this one, okay. There's two, this is two. And this is four, hmm. Which one do you think equals to this pan? Did you say the first one? Good job. So this one, which has two, is equal to two. Did any of you say this one? No, you're too smart for that one. That equals two, but guess what? They're bigger. They're not the same size, so they might weigh more. So the big cubes cannot equal the small cubes. Both of these cubes are small, so they are equal. If you change the size, then it changes the weight. So that cannot be equal to our small cubes. Good job, I thought I was gonna trick you on that one, but you're just too smart. Okay. You did it. You got through your math lesson, you're so great. Let's look at our objective to remember what we learned today. We learned to move objects around on a scale and know it is still equal 
to the same amount. Great job. Now let's try to do our math practice. I'm going to do the first one with you and you're going to do the rest on your own. So let's look at our instructions. It says, draw a line from the balance to the linking cubes that weigh the same. So let's look at our first one. Let's count our cubes. One, two, three. So we have to find the pan that has three cubes. Point to the pan that has three cubes. Did you say this one? Good job, you're extremely smart. Let's count to make sure. One, two, three. So three matches with three. Great job. Now we'll like you to try the rest on your own.